assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel i am asif math corner today we will study about conjugacy relation in group and equivalence relation in group theory let's start conjugacy relation in groups what is conjugacy relation let g be a group for any a belongs to g a is the element of g the element g a g inverse and g belongs to g as we know that g is a group so if g belongs to g then the its inverse also belongs to g and a is also belongs to g then there is an element which look like this that when we a multiply by left side with g and with right side with g inverse this uh, will also be uh, an element of g <coughs> is called conjugate or transform of a by g mean that it will be the conjugate of a by g so let's take two numbers two elements a comma b belongs to g are said to be conjugate these are conjugate of each other if and only if there exist an element g belongs to g such that b is equal to g a g inverse g and a will be the conjugate of each other if we multiply we take an element from g and multiply it with left side and inverse with right side and the result which comes will be the conjugate of b next next we have a theorem the relation of conjugacy between elements of group is an equivalence relation that relation with relation made by the conjugacy is called equivalence relation what is equivalence relation in equivalence relation if any relation is reflexive and symmetric and transitive if three these three conditions are fulfilled then that relation is called equivalence relation so let's start proof let us denote the relation of conjugacy between elements of a group by r we denote the relation by r then reflexive will be r is reflexive means that the reflection the relation is reflexive i e a is the equivalent relation of conjugacy with a because the identity element e belongs to us because g is a group so identity element also belongs to g and when we take inverse of identity is also identity when we multiply any identity with element then that elements will come either we multiply the operator is multiply or addition so the reflexive relation you may remember that we are standing in front of mirror and we see our reflection in the mirror and the reflection is same like us so when we take the reflexive relation of any element then we the, the reflection is same element then here we are going to take the uh, reflexive relation of a then its reflexive relation will be equal to a let's see symmetric symmetric mean if a ab is equal to ba like commutative law so r is symmetric the relation will be symmetric if a r b for a comma b belongs to g then there exist g belong to g g is the element of g first we take the relation uh, here we can say that b is the conjugate of a b is equal to g a g inverse this is the form of equivalence uh, relation uh, relation of conjugacy this is form of relation of conjugacy so 
we are going to prove that this relation is symmetric if symmetric then the relation of a b will be equal to b a so here you can see that b is equal to g a g inverse when g th when this g come from equal to other side then it become in g inverse and the inverse of g when comes uh, to the other side of equal sign then it will become g inverse of inverse and we see that it is also form of relation of conjugacy so it's mean that a or b is equal to b or a hence it is symmetric relation now we are going to discuss the last that is transitive relation if the, if the relation is transitive then it's mean that is it is an equivalence relation so and the relation of conjugacy between elements of group is an equivalence relation so transitive transitive means as we say that we take uh, three numbers let's suppose 2 3 and 4 and if i told that 2 is smaller than 3 and 3 is smaller than 4 what it mean it's mean that what will be the relation of 2 and 4 2 and 4 relation will be 2 is also smaller than 4 very easy to understand if 2 is smaller than 3 3 is smaller than 4 then 2 will also be smaller than 4 this is called this is called transitive relation let's let's prove let we take a relation a r b and b r c then there exist a g and g prime belongs to g such that b is equal to b, b is the conjugate of a means that b is equal to g a g inverse and c is the conjugate of b it's mean that c is equal to g prime b g prime inverse similarly when we put c here and as we know the value of b value of b is here put the value of b in this equation then we find this g prime is here and this g prime inverse is at the end and this b we know that equal to g a g inverse so we put here the value of g take from here so b is equal to g a g inverse and by applying associative law as a associative law hold in general so this become single element and this portion become single element and we can see that g and g prime and g prime and g inverse all belongs to g so it's mean that c is the conjugate of a as well so we have proved that a r c so r is transitive hence r is an equivalence relation in g i hope you understood thank you so much